first one we're going to do is a side bend. We're going to do this alternating each side. So reach over your head through your fingertips and with your other hand, drop it towards the floor and reach right through your fingertips. Change sides. You're going to feel that stretch all up the side of your body. Think about pushing your ribs out to the side gently as well. Just gonna do five days per side. One more each side. Next up, really simple, we're going to do some wrist rolls. So we're going to move both of them to the outside and try and go right into your end ranges. So as big as circles as possible. Let's go 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do them the opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super. Okay, next up, we're going to do our Spider Man's with rotations. So get yourself down on to a, like a kneeling position. But make sure this back leg is slid back as far as you can go and that knee is on the floor. You're going to have both hands to the inside of this leg and then you're going to try, if your right leg is in front, hold yourself up on your left hand. Drop your elbow or your chest towards the floor, doesn't matter if it touches it or not, and then look back. We're going to do 10 per side. You want to have a nice straight position from your shoulder into your hip, down into your knee. So we're trying to avoid your butt sticking back. Do one more. Let's change sides. So same again. This time you're holding yourself up on your opposite arm. Make sure that your knee is in line with your toe, like your second or third toe, or else get it right out to the outside. Just don't have it coming in like this. Let's go again. Reaching right around. Always been able to see your hand. Over 10. Super. Okay, the next one. We're going to just hold a deep squat with your heels on the floor for 30 seconds. Okay. Try and have your feet as straight as you can. If they turn out, it's not a big, big deal. Just do your best. Right, 30 seconds starts now. And just relax right into the bottom of it. If you need to hold something for a counterbalance, then please do that as well. 
Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. All right, and the last one for your ankles. We're gonna do the front foot on this one. So make sure you keep your heel on the ground on that front, front foot. All you're gonna do is push your knee as far forward as it can without your heel coming off the ground. And we're doing that 10 times. You're trying to line up your knee with your outside toes. Okay, 10 all together. Without your ankle, or sorry, without your heel coming off the floor. Three more. That's it, change legs. Last 10, then we're finished. You might notice that one ankle has a lot more range than the other. Keep going for the outside toes, not the inside. Five more. Three, two, and one. Super, guys, well done. That's us done for today. Thank you.